and third type is the L grid type and this is also known as the quarter O grid so now select the main block and select the any two edges uh, from these two edges again the O block uh, will uh, pass through these edges and uh, go into the warping blocks so O grid is not created on these two edges so apply and also turn on the warform block to see what happened now you can see that the o, o grid is uh, uh, passes uh, pass through the the warform blocks uh, on this side as, as well as on this side so uh, whichever edge you select the o grid will pass it from the uh, towards the warform block uh, now I explain you the uh, these three types in the 3D. So this is the geometry uh, we will work. Uh, we will working to explain these things for the 3D case. Now let's see again. We want to create the uh, full O grid. Again, see the uh, the slides for the full O grid for the 3D. Now see. we will get the shape like this okay so go to the o, uh, o block panel select the block and just apply the without selecting any face so you can see uh, the O block is created uh, turn on the blocks reduce the size so you can observe that the on each side of the of the cube uh, that these are six sides on the each side there is a one block and there is also one block in the center so total there are seven blocks created uh, in the 3d we don't select any face now turn on the warform blocks you can see that the warping blocks are uh, unaffected and the O block uh, is only created inside the main block so turn off the warp on and now we will uh, work on the half O grid so first case will be the uh, half O grid uh, with one face selected then second case uh, is the half O grid with the two faces uh, the parallel faces selected now see the pictures we will get after these operations this is the first case and the wa uh, for the half o grid uh, when the one face is selected and second case is the half o grid with the two parallel faces selected select the block and select the one face when you select the one face, then the O, uh, o grid will be passing from this face uh, into the warform blocks. So the, in other words, we'll get the imprint on the geometry face. On the other side, the O block will be uh, will be moved to the inside the uh, main block. So now apply it. You can see. You can see uh, on this side where the face was not selected the O block is uh, moved inside and then one main block and uh, again the four blocks on the other sides so turn now turn on the warp on you can see that the O grid, wa uh, o grid is, passed, uh, is passing from the warp on blocks to the end now for second case let's say we apply the we select the both faces on the parallel uh, in the parallel so apply now you can see that the on these two sides there is no block going into the main block and now turn on the warp from blocks you can see that the o block uh, o gate is, uh, is passed through the warp from blocks so these are uh, these things are necessary uh, for the for the cases where the geometry uh, where we want to make the 
O-Block on the geometry face. So I'll explain this in the SPSQ tutorial that when to select the face or when, uh, when not to select the face. Okay, now third case I will explain is the L grid in the 3D. So first I will apply this on the this geometry uh, and then I will show you on the base shape geometry. So again go to the split block, select the O block and uh, select the main block. Now instead of the faces, go to the edges. So click on this edge command and select two edges on the upper side just like in the 2D as well as the two edges parallel to the upper two edges. So now observe the faces which are selected for the quarter O grid or the L grid. So now you must know that the uh, whenever the face is selected on the side, the O block is not found uh, on that side. So you apply the O block, the geometry, the mesh, the blocking will be passing from the from these four faces to the bottom block. So in total we will get the one, two, three total uh, total three blocks for this case like this. See. Now turn on the warform blocks. You can observe the warform blocks how they have behaved for this command. Okay, now we'll go to the uh, wedge block type geometry where the uh, these type of the operations are applied. This is the geometry of the wedge block. Now first see the slides that the how uh, this uh, L grid should look like. So the benefit of the the benefit of the L L type uh, O grid or the quarter O grid is that uh, we can we can match the wedge type shape or the triangular shapes uh, with the hexa mesh and there are also other methods uh, like the y block quarter o block from the vertices but i will explain the o block in the in the next session uh, but we will not discuss the quarter o block from the vertices so now turn off the surfaces and uh, go to the O block, select the block and select the edges as I have already explained and select the two edges on the upper side also two edges on the lower side parallel to the upper edges. Apply and uh, now we will apply some uh, vertices operations we will adjust these vertices first I set the main edges and the vertices so we get the some shape so we can working uh, we will uh, work on the remaining part Go to auto associate, apply. You can observe that the edges are associated to the corresponding curves as well as the vertices to the corresponding points. Now, again, we'll adjust some uh, edges to make the shape proper shape. Again, go to the move vertices and select this command the point 0.5 okay make it point 
also on the bottom side Point 0.3 apply the pre-mesh parameters on the edges and make sure that the the copy parameters to all edges is checked on applying the with edge mesh parameters arbitrary you can adjust in your case so turn on the pre-mesh shaded now this is our mesh so uh, in this way we are able to uh, to mesh the triangular faces or the wedge shape with the help of the hexa mesh so this is the benefit of the L grid or the quarter O grid. Uh, now I'll explain you the second method that is the Y block like I, I have already discussed. So in the Y block method uh, we'll create the main block and uh, then we will merge vertices and uh, then we will align vertices and then we go to the edit block and Y block. and again we get the same shape but the difference is in the work found blocks ok so create a new, new block replace turn on the what, uh, curves go to the merge vertices Merge these vertices on the uh, triangular side. This and uh, now adjust the block by associating the proper 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 vertices to the points. Also, you can use the auto association to associate the all parameters to all geometric entities and the blocking entities uh, you can observe that the everything ev each and everything is associated to the corresponding geometry feature so now we will go to the edit block edit block and select the Y block from these options select the block uh, with the left mouse button and with the uh, middle boss button click now things are done set some edge mesh parameters again 10 again the same mesh same shape but uh, the things which uh, the thing which should be observed uh, is the warform block which is totally different in this case you can see the difference Okay, so now I have explained the O blocks and the different methods to create the O block like the Y block, full O grid, uh, half O grid, quarter O grid, and their uh, importance for the different geometry, geometrical cases, and uh, then their relationship to the Warform blocks. Uh, now we move on to the uh, our main tutorial, that is the square cube tutorial. So turn off these all things.